Hello, you wonderful people. So, it's somewhat late, but not really late because none of these things have been revealed yet. But, nevertheless, for this video, I'm going to talk about some theories I have about Flash as well as Arrow. More specifically, the who is Zoom as well as who's in the grave theory. Now, basically, these are my own opinions combined with other stuff I've heard from other people's opinions and what I believe is like, okay, that that either that would make more sense to me or I feel like that would be the correct direction to take. Not necessarily that would be the correct direction. That's just the direction I feel like would be cool, but if they decided to go about a different way, I'd be fine with it either way. Just because, let's start with the Flash first. When it comes to Zoom, who do I think Zoom is? Well, I mean, there's a lot of theories going around, but to one, me, the one that's always stuck, like always, I've, like I've been dead set on, is that Zoom is Eddie. Because at the end of season one, you know, obviously he gets sucked into the um little fucking time thing, the time portal. So like, and many as many people have said, it's like you don't get sucked up into like a time portal for nothing it's not like that just happens for shits and giggles it's like no that happens for a particular reason maybe that reason isn't zoom though because possibly that could be something that they're saving for later on in the season that could be unrelated to zoom or it could be like something in later seasons that they have planned that they just set in motion now but that can turn into something completely different other than zoom later on down the road but to me it'd be amazing if it was eddie because in my mind i like to think that like you know after eddie did what he did, killing himself to stop Eobard, he ends up getting dragged to like maybe Earth 2. And you know, he gets saved, but you know, sucky for Eddie, he's not home. You know, he's in a world where there's people with familiar faces, but none of them are the people he knows. So he's, he's stuck in a world he doesn't know. And two, it's another world where the Flash exists. Now, Eddie, it, I feel like it never like was downright hatred for the flash but the flash was always something that came between him and iris especially when he found out who um the flash really is and that's barry and you just because it's always been a thing between iris and barry they grew up together so he always felt like you know barry was competition barry was closer to iris he knew more about her and especially when it came out you know that barry liked her and then it kind of got her questioning her feelings about him too so you know maybe you know being in another world with another flash it just it made him, you know, resentful because he's like, I, I thought I died being a hero, but, you know, it's like here I am in this other world and I can't, not necessarily that Ed would think like this, but maybe he can't relish in the glory of what he did. And if something happens and he's just, you know what, I want to be a hero too. I want to be, be I, I, I need to destroy the Flash because the Flash, just, you know, in his mind, he thinks of the Flash in any world as just simply Barry, a hero that takes away from you know, his own heroism or something. Maybe something happened, his mind got twisted, but he decides that he's going to, you know, destroy every Flash that exists, no matter who they are, just because he holds so much resentment towards Barry. Which to me, if that were the case, it would make like the episode where Zoom basically decimated Barry and broke his spine. It's like, it would make that whole thing so much, you know, like heavier because what did zoom do after he beat the crap out of barry he dashed around the town to show it off to everyone first he shows it shows up at iris's job which is like okay it makes sense Those newspapers are gonna go out being like oh my god the flash was defeated by this dude in black but if it if he was eddie it would hold a like subtext to it you know because it'd be like eddie there showing off like look here's your hero here's that person you care about so much I destroyed him, I'm better than him, I'm faster than him. And doing the same thing at the police station, it could be him showing off to Joe like, yo, you look at him, you act so proud towards Barry because he's uh, such a hero, but look at me, I decimated this person you care about, I am faster than your hero. Like I said, it's just like a theory, it's just my opinion, I feel like it'd be so awesome if it's Eddie, but who knows, there are other people who've shown up that it's like, okay, it could definitely be, be said character, just because I heard what Zoom's real identity is comic book wise which granted these shows kind of have their own continuity to them you know it's like something you know some stuff is from the comic books other stuff is just like stuff that they've made up for themselves and you I mean it, I mean because you know obviously some stuff in comic books contradict each other like in this set universe of comic books it could be one thing and in another universe it could be another thing and then the show could have its own continuity too so that, that right there's like three different universes or you know maybe it's something that's shared all across them whatever the case may be but I think it'd be pretty, pretty interesting to see if Eddie is Zoom or not. But if he's not, he's not. But it'd be pretty cool if he was. Now, moving on to Arrow, there's the whole grave situation. Now, it's been set up so that the grave can literally be anyone except for, for Felicity, which... 
Thank goodness. Because I was, I was, I was so heartbroken when I saw her get shot. I was like, no, no, no. It can't be Felicity for multiple reasons. For one, Felicity's so amazing. She's smart and she's so quirky. I, I love her personality. That, and she means so much to Oliver. Oliver's finally happy, you know? Like at the beginning of the season, you saw him actually happy. And she's like, she's really, she actually, you know, brings out the hero in Oliver. She's one of many characters that's like a moral compass to Oliver who has a tendency to kind of revert back into who he was before he met everyone, you know? Who he was like at the beginning of the series. But they basically lay the groundwork where it can literally be anyone. Laura, which granted, I don't think it'd be Laura. I don't think they kill off the Black Canary. I mean, granted, they killed off Sarah, but still, I don't, I don't know. I don't think they kill off Laurel, which some people might be happy about. Like, a person on, I don't, like, people will hate Laurel. It's like, I'm perfectly fine with Laurel. Granted, she's not as badass as Sarah was as a Black Canary, but still, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I fucking hate you, Laurel. It's like, no, Laurel's fine. I, I like her, you know, it's like, I mean, especially when, you know, she's definitely gonna get so much better later on and it's gonna blow people's minds, but whatever. There's Thea, which is like, crap i don't i don't want that to happen neither because for one i like thea too but it's also because she's literally the only blood family that um oliver has like i mean granted he has his team who was like a family to him as well but that's his only sister his only family he has left his dad killed himself like in the beginning to make sure that oliver stayed alive when, you know had enough you know stuff left over so that he could survive then he um slade killed his mom in season two so it's like she's all the family he's got left but there's also that angle a reason why it could be Thea is because the whole angle about Merlin being like if anything happens to Thea I'm coming after you paraphrasing but it's like which in itself is kind of like messed up it's like yo like that's his sister too she's not just your daughter she's his sister it's a little messed up for you to be threatening him like that but nevertheless um but I think that in itself could be an interesting element that they might be pushing towards because it's like yo like He's kind of on okay terms with the League of Assassins, you know? I mean, they were his main adversaries in Season 3. I mean, more so Ra's al Ghul, Ra's al Ghul, however you want to pronounce it. But it's like, they could drag that back into it. You know, Malcolm could get so devastated that he's like, because he's already lost Tommy, so he's not willing to lose Thea, too. Especially, you know, after, the, like, they're, they're at the point they are now. But still, like, I mean, it could easily lead to him being super pissed at Oliver and he's basically, you know, Malcolm could easily just like wage war on him if it's Thea. The other one is Detective Lance, which I don't, I don't want to do that to Laurel. Her sister is already back from the dead off time traveling in Legends Tomorrow, which by the way, an amazing show. Love it. Super excited about it. Uh, can't wait to watch more of it. But there's that, but it's like, you know, it's like you can't take her dad from her. It's like, it, I feel like it could easily go that direction too. But to me, out of anybody, I don't want it to be, but I believe the person in the grave is Diggle. Whether, uh, another theory thrown out is that Diggle fakes his death or whatever. Whether it's fake or not, which I don't think it's going to be. Like, and, and in the sense of it's fake is that neither Felicity nor Oliver know, so that's why they look so devastated. But because they look so devastated, I'm thinking it's Diggle. Because out of anyone in that team, they're close to everyone, but I feel like out of anyone, to see like her, like Felicity so heartbroken and so like, no, we, you know what you have to do, Oliver, you have to end this. It's like, and just both of them mad and heartbroken, it has to be Diggle. Because out of anyone, he, he's one of the characters that they're closest to. Because for Oliver and for Felicity, because those three together, that's Team Arrow OG. They've been together since like the beginning. Because also, Diggle's like a brother to Oliver. Like, out of anyone next to Felicity, he waves back and forth, but Oliver listens to John a lot, you know? John's kind of, seriously, like, hands down, like, his partner in all of this, you know? It's like, yo, like, he's got Oliver's back, Oliver's got his back. Granted, the whole, like, kidnapping um, John's wife, Lila, back in season three just to get, like, just you know stop the whole situation happening last season it's like okay they weren't on good terms at the beginning of the season but they they got into a really good place and it's just like i just feel that it's dig i hope it's not and even if it is dig i hope it's fake but it's just like i know it's real and i get the feeling it's going to be diggle out of anybody i hope i hope on everything i'm wrong that's really all i really want to talk about in this video my question to you is 
who do you really think? Who who are some? Th what is a theory that you believe is right? Like who do you think is Zoom? Who do you think is in the grave? Let me know in the comments down below. I really want to talk this out. And like I said, that's it. Till the next time we meet. Be happy. Be safe. Live life to the fullest and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.